And I'm drinking a margarita. <laughs> this is the biggest, most full margarita I've ever seen in my life. And then this was 71 pesos here at Cinepolis VIP. VIP. I don't think that's VIP. VIP. Hola, amigos from the movies. I'm Maddie. And I'm Jordan. And we are Tangerine Travels. Today we are doing the other side of the movie experience, the one that was so popularly recommended to us, the VIP experience here in Mexico. We are in Guadalajara, specifically I think in Zabopan. Although the last movie theater that we went to was an upscale movie theater, according to Google Maps and according to our opinions, this one, what do you think? Pretty nice so far. At least where we're sitting right now is a private lounge for just those going to VIP movies. Yeah. One downside of being in the VIP section is all the concessions are a bit more expensive than they are out in the peasant area. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We were peasants last time. We're, we're usually peasants. <laughs> you walk into Sinapolis and they have a separate VIP section. We have a separate line completely than all the other ticket booths. The kiosks, I don't think you can buy the VIP tickets there. You have to go to this other line that's down a different hallway and it says Sinapolis VIP. The tickets are 153 pesos each. And what that gets you is a whole separate section. So where we're sitting right now is a private area. You show them your ticket, you go down a hallway, there's a bunch of couches and lounge chairs, you have a bar in here where you can get drinks, and then there are really four movie theaters that I think are going to have reclining seats, but at least we know that people are going to come up to your chair and serve you food. They served us a margarita right here. We didn't even have to move at all. So now we are waiting for a few hours for our movie to start. Any other things that you noticed? Differences between the US from the other Cinepolis, the regular classic version? I mean, from here in the VIP section to out there, not in the VIP section, it's a lot more tranquil in here, much quieter, faster service. So it does seem like a whole lot nicer and at least the fact that we have private bathrooms that are really nice and clean and aren't available to the rest of the mall it makes this like a, already it seems like a little bit more of a VIP deal but you are paying for it so that's a trade-off and we'll show you what the inside of the theater looks like as soon as they let us in So we just got out of the movie. What was your experience like there? What did you think of it? This wasn't at all what I was expecting, considering we thought that the other movie theater was a really nice, fancy high-end theater. I kind of expected that this was going to be like the nicest movie experience that I've ever had. And if I'm being totally honest, uh, maybe my expectations were set too high, or maybe people built it up more than it should have been. I don't know. I, I, I would rather go to the other theater and pay a lot less money. What did you think? What about the yeah. food, maybe? What did you think about the food? We ordered a margarita, and it wasn't very good. It uh, tasted like they put a lot of salt in it. Uh, a I, lot of salt, yeah. and then blended it all together. The popcorn was pretty good and they brought hot sauce with it. So we, so we got to try hot sauce on popcorn for the very first time ever. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was it was really good. I like that. We ordered these ribs. It was like a combo. We wanted to at least yeah. try out the food. Generally, we don't order food at a movie theater. Even back in the US, that was kind of a, an extraordinary treat to do, but we wanted to get the full experience and make the comparison. So we got this combo. It had like French fries, ribs, and chicken strips or? I have no idea what those were. When the ribs came out, it was like fake bones 
with like a hot molded, dog on it. Molded like sausage hot dog, and then they put barbecue sauce on it. So they call it that ribs. I don't know. Maybe that's normal here in Mexico, and that's just not what we're used to. But to call them ribs and to serve that and charge what they did kind of didn't quite match up. <laughs> Food all together, we got this combo plate, and that was 185 pesos. Large popcorn with just butter, so that's kind of the classic version, was 60. And then you got a large fresco, a Coca Cola, and that was 50 pesos. Total, we paid about 600 pesos for the experience. I would much prefer the 150 pesos that at the other place. All this being said, we don't mean to offend anyone who really enjoys going to an experience like this because it is a nice experience. Experience, but if we're comparing the two and being completely honest, we would just rather pay less money and enjoy the exact same popcorn and maybe just eat right before we come or eat ice cream afterwards like we did before. <laughs> if we're comparing this to a similar like reclining seats, service at your chair in the US, I think this is not quite as nice in terms of the food that they're serving and the quality of drinks. Although it is significantly cheaper than what you would pay in the U.S. Like, to buy the same stuff, we would be spending $80. For one movie. This is way, way, way cheaper. And you're still getting the reclining seats. They're bringing all the stuff to you. But for Mexico, out of the two that we've done, I think the winner, in our humble opinions, goes to regular Cinepolis. Are there other VIP theaters that you like better than Galerias here in Zapopan? Let us know down in the comments. We're always happy to hear your feedback, thoughts, suggestions. Did we just totally mess this all up or something? <laughs> if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to... Gong that bell so that you get notified every time we put out a new video about our adventures and travels in Mexico. See you tomorrow.